Yeah, bitch, this is the fucking Cheesecake Factory. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? What? what? The Cheesecake Factory. I love the Cheesecake Factory. I have no problem with the damn Cheesecake Factory. You should be even happy that this motherfucker's even taking you somewhere like the Cheesecake Factory. The fuck is she talking about? The fuck is she talking about? The Cheesecake Factory. She talking as if like he took her ass to goddamn McDonald's. He should have took your ass back home. You know what? Quite frankly, he should have dropped your ass off on the fucking curb. Right? He should have dropped you off on the fucking curb. He should have been like, oh, okay, oh, you, you, I'm like, oh, you don't like the, okay, yo, all right, look, I got, like, I got you, I'm like, I got you, because I know she probably, she one of the types that wouldn't get out the car, because she's petty as fuck, recording and shit, putting this man's shit all, all, all out there, I don't know if this shit is staged or not, I, 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 I hope it is actually staged, to be honest with you. Putting this man shit out there, but it, it more than likely it probably is. But still, putting this man shit out there and shit, right? Cheesecake Factory. Of course, it gotta be our women. Of course. Gotta be the black American women. Gotta be us. So the problem with our women is that it's not, it's not more so that they do this type of shit. It's that they broadcast the shit. For the whole world to see. Oh, I'm a strong, independent black woman. Look at me. Wonder why everybody fucking... The reason why everybody hate black Americans is not for the reasons why we think it is. It ain't because we kill each other and we gang bang, we shoot. It's because we fucking always need to be in the spotlight all the damn time. All the time. We got to broadcast everything that go on in our shit. Broadcast everything that we do. We don't like, we do like. It's almost a narcissistic ass culture in a way. I don't really like using that word narcissistic because that's just so thrown around too much. But, but this shit right here, like if you're going to do this shit, do this shit in your own comfort, not of your home, but in your own fucking space. Why broadcast this shit just to get, then get slaughtered and get mad when you get your ass slaughtered on the internet? But bitch, your ass wasn't even good enough for a cheesecake. Quite frankly, I'd have just told your ass to come over. You weren't going nowhere. The most we would have did is a motherfucking FaceTime video. Because who the fuck is you? What? Let's go back. Hold on, let's watch it one more time. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. There's more videos I got for you guys. Bear with me, bear with me. A beautiful woman, so I'm expecting to be treated like royal oh bitch get the fuck out of here bitch bitch get the fuck out of here i'm a beautiful woman so i just expect to be treated like royal bitch where bitch where all that fucking makeup on she got on right all that makeup she got on big ass earrings and she's a beautiful woman and she thinks she needs to be treated like royalty. So this is what happened when you a guy who dating a girl who don't like you. When you date, this is, this is what happens when you date girls who don't like you. They expect more from you because then they're deluded, uh, the deluded, deluded female nature mind. They believe that, they really believe this. I want you guys to know something. This is what they really believe. They believe that when they don't like you, if they get you to do more, then hopefully 
they will like you. They like, man, if I get, well, I don't really like him. I'm not attracted to him. So, I mean, if he call me more, if he take me out more, if he spend more money on me, he do this, then I, I should be able to grow to like him. I should be able to grow to like him. That's how they, that's how they really believe, uh, think in their head. Which is why it's so important as a man, to not be dealing with fucking beauty and the beast. Fuck out of here. And then they thinking like, this is why, I, this is why you can't be sipping, man. Because you got the beast thinking that she's the beauty. You're not. Not even close. And this is why Kevin Samuels was getting on so many of women like her ass. You feel me? Because the beast thinks that they're the beauty, and even the beauty shit, like, it's just, it just should be no fucking simping, right? It should be no fucking simping. I look good, so I should be treated like royalty. She thinks because she looks good that a man just supposed to just do whatever the fuck he's supposed to do, spend all his goddamn money, do all of this simp shit, because she thinks she look good. Because the other punk ass niggas, we didn't tell this bitch that she ugly, right? She ain't, they didn't tell her she was ugly. And they wanted some ass, got her fake believing that she, in her mind, that she looks good. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Bitch like Thanos. In the video, you, you basically told him that, you know, you're not going in there, you know your value. Uh, you're, yeah. You're... Uh, yeah. And you know what's so sick about this? She's talking about her beauty, right? But when men talk about women's beauty and women being shallow and shit, there's a fucking problem. When men only want to pick a woman based off of her beauty, there's a fucking problem. But she's talking about, and you're going to see more of how she's so contradicting later because she's trying to make a man do all of this shit based off of how she looks physically. But in the, in the next video, she's talking about female empowerment and all this feminist shit. But she's one of those same women who would get mad at a man if only he, he if he if he's so shallow and don't give a fuck about a woman's personality and he only care about looks looks. She's one of those types. But because you're beautiful, you 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 gotta go to a five star fucking restaurant, right? You just gotta be fucking you gotta be treated like straight royalty. He gotta carry you out. He gotta pick you up like never TT. You know when they had a little things in Egyptian days and the girls be sitting on the thing. On the little thing, and they gotta walk, and the, and the, the kings and queens and shit. She think that's the, somebody supposed to pick her ass up and just take her to the fucking. I don't fucking know. And if you broke, just say that, Zay. You know how the bitches be. If you broke, just say that, Zay. Oh, I'm broke. Shit. All right, I'm cool with it. All I got is wood to sling, hard dick. That's it. Say that. It's okay, fuck. I don't care. <laughs> like, what you be thinking that? Like, you know they say that. Oh, if you broke, just broke, just say that shit. Like, they be thinking that that shit hurt me or some shit like that. Like, bitch, I would fuck you in, in a cardboard box. <laughs> Dude, that's how strong my game is. I don't need to be able to have to take a bitch to a fucking uh uh uh. A five-star restaurant to get get some ass. The fuck. Let's go to this next video. Yeah. Oh yeah, this bitch was Back talking. To, well, let me say this. It's interesting. Now, fellas, fellas, listen to me. Keep it a ball. Let's just, let's just keep it a ball, man. I. I know, man. I know. It sounds kind of harsh how I'm going at this bitch, but we, we got to bring... We need to bring back shame, judgment, and all of that shit. It needs, to, it needs to come back. It has to come back. Are you taking this bitch to a five-star restaurant? Hmm? You... you. <laughs> Bitch couldn't even get no damn fries, a small fry from fucking McDonald's from me. McDonald's, nigga. Fuck this bitch talking about what? To me, that just how 
a moment in time, right, can shape how so many view you. This goofy ass bitch go. <laughs> Sometimes I hate dumb people. And more importantly, I hate I hate a bitch who's dumb. She took her fucking phone out. Mind you, she took her fucking phone out, right? She recorded this shit. Put the shit on the internet for other people to be able to see and judge and give their opinions on it. And now she's... It just hurts me. Let me, let me, let me, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You know, you know what I gotta do. It just hurts me <laughs> that people get on the internet <laughs> and they can just judge you for, you know, just a small moment in time. <laughs> Even though I'm the dumb bitch who put the video up there for me to be judged and, and, and fuck up this guy's life. It's just so crazy to me. This bitch got the fucking... The audacity so, of... Hold on. The audacity of this bitch. And I'm sorry to them. I made a mistake of pushed the damn wrong button. The audacity of this bitch. I want to talk about... I'm trying to remember... Bear with me, guys. I wrote down some notes so I can remember everything I want to say. Bitch, hurry up. Um, I watched the comments, the shares that you guys, um, the opinions that you guys had. And I re have reflected on all of them, processed all of them that I was able to read. Um, many of you have been bo vocal about how entitled I was. You goddamn right, how bitch. I misused this man. You goddamn right, bitch. And I want you to understand. No wonder why nobody want to marry our women. No wonder why. No fucking wonder why. It's Indian. It's an Indian dude. Dude going out of his own fucking race. Right? To uh, an entitled woman who looks like this. He must be down fucking extraordinarily bad to be with this, to go outside of his race. To, to, to meet this shit. Yo, hey, Ali, bye bye. You need to take your ass back to your women. Because at least you ain't going to be on fucking social media. Looking like a fucking fool. And that my mission has always been for women to empower women, um, for women to feel respected, cared for, um, not be misused. Bitch, what the fuck does does that even have? What the fuck does that have to do with your goofy ass not getting out on a date at a damn at Cheesecake Factory? Somebody please tell me what the fuck this all of that goofy ass shit she just said had to do with that. Um, I gotta, um, you know, I just, I gotta do it because the women empowerment and we not going to no fucking cheesecake factory. What? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? She said all of this feminist shit while trying to do traditional while trying to be treated in a traditional way. Women empowerment. All this other shit. What does you what does women being abused and shit have to do with you being courted the correct way? I'm not gonna say correct way, but you being courted the right way in the eyes of society. And then you not getting out to go on a fucking date. Because you look pretty. This bitch didn't say because. I do this, I do that, I'm a good person. Uh, this bitch said cause she looks pretty. She's not going out there. But you for women and, and empowerment. Women empowerment ain't about no fucking beauty. Women empowerment ain't about looks. You can't even fat shame a bitch. Female, that feminist shit. 
They hate a motherfucker who, who all about looks. She cut. Man, this is a goofy ass bitch, fellas. Who's the whole point of me doing this video, right? You get in a situation like this, kick that bitch to the fucking garbage. Not to the curb. Not to the curb. To the garbage. I'd have left her ass right where she stood, bro. On my fucking dead fucking my and they go my ancestors. All the dead people that I know. I left her ass in the curb. This shit is outside. I, I, outrageous. But this is the, this is what happened. I blame this nigga. Blame that Indian motherfucker. Whatever, wherever he's from. This is what happens when you fucking pedestalize women who are not supposed to be pedestalized. You get motherfuckers who look like some goddamn fish off shark tails thinking that she should be treated like goddamn royalty. The fuck out of here, man. The fuck out of here. And when women, just to conclude this shit up, when women don't really like you, they make you do more to compensate for their lack of liking you, of not liking you. Because in their mind, they think that by you doing more, they will eventually like you. Which, that's not how attraction works. It's actually counterintuitive for the most part. Well, fellas, I hope you enjoyed the video, man. Yo, the new ebook, the new Texan up, the upgraded Texan ebook is coming soon, man. It's got new, new rules in there. It's got new um, text, Texan examples, all type of shit, um, uh, pictures, all type of shit that you guys wanted. Coming out even with a template, a free template that I'm giving away, and I'm taking that that those, those courses down. So you better get them shits right now before the fucking price go up. All type of shit. Um, this your boy Zay DBE. And until next time, out deuces.